Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So, wow. Okay, five of coins. So feeling very strongly that there's a disconnect, feeling perhaps ignored, rejected, feeling a sense of lack, not getting what you need and want from your person. Um, five can also talk about feeling the need for change, feeling like this can't go on. I've got to, I've got to do something here. I've got to change something up. Also feeling maybe that spirit is pushing for some kind of change that ordinarily you know you wouldn't have wanted or not at this point but it's happening anyway yeah judgment so feeling like a change is happening or making a change what else please how is my viewer how is the collective thinking and feeling truly about this situation the ace of cups wanting a new beginning for some of you this is going to be you know really starting to think about opening up to a new beginning with someone else someone who can reciprocate your energy your effort the time someone who can be loyal and committed we have the eight of swords reversed for others of you of course this will be you saying i want a new beginning with this person i want a fresh start i don't feel that we're done here yeah four of cups reversed so maybe for the majority of you this will be i want things to turn around i want to enter a new cycle with this person i want them to take my cup i want them to see that this is a gift and i believe they do see that but i would like them to act on it you know we've got the cups we've got the emotion but in terms of tangible action pentacles we've got the five of pentacles which is lack let's move into the six you know six of pentacles equal give and take balance Ooh, okay three of coins three of pentacles that's good as well that's teamwork so yeah okay so feeling like you want a new start here most of you i think it's i want a new start with this same person i want them to show up correctly i want them to be consistent i want them to be out there with this not just to keep this in the realm of their heart and their mind for a few of you i think this is going to be you know what i'm sick of this I'm open to a new beginning with someone who can reciprocate at this time. I'm fed up of being in pain. I'm fed up of being confused. I'm fed up of having to keep this so internal and not being able to just have easy flowing communication. We have the seven of wands. Wow. This is this is sad because I feel that this connection has really caused some pain. And you see how if we look um, to the sides of this guy, he's got one of the pillars that um, is lit up and the other is in darkness. So it's almost like a feeling now of uh, I'm more guarded than I used to be whether we're talking about just with this person or any potential new person yes I want it but I'm, I've got like one foot in one foot out because I've been wounded I've been burned I'm ready to make my escape if I need to I'm protecting my heart my heart chakra is not as open as it was before and now I'm more guarded I'm more distrusting I might feel like you know there are threats all around me where I didn't see threats before because we also don't know are there people holding these ones facing him or not you know are there really threats or imagined and that's a horrible place to be in because um you just you know it's a feeling of you just don't know and, and when you start questioning can I trust someone or not it's like well am I basing this on logical things I'm seeing and my subconscious is trying to alert me or am I acting from wounding you know is this person worth my or worthy of my trust and I'm being unfair to them and potentially sabotaging this thing in front of me because of what's happened in a previous situation or in a previous cycle with the same person, you know? So I think you're aware, if this is your message, you know, you are aware of this feeling of, I know I'm more guarded and I don't, I just can't tell entirely if sometimes it's necessary or sometimes I'm, I'm being a bit paranoid, but for good reason, wow. And something about the enthusiasm has been dimmed, you know, maybe you were coming in before as a page of cups, like, here I am, I trust you, here's my cup, you know, but there has been pain, so there's there's definitely more of a guarded um, feeling now, more caution. Okay, for my viewer, for my collective, what's their situation, how are they truly thinking and feeling about this person, about this situation on their mind, what are their true thoughts and feelings? <clears throat> the Hierophant reversed, um, Taurus energy there. Wow. Commitment, tradition. If there is something about this connection that seems unconventional um, for you or for your person, it's almost like, I'm just not going to think about that anymore. I'm not going to stress about it. If I've been worried that my person feels like this 
lack of, of traditional convention is a problem. I just can't worry about it anymore. You know, that's for them to deal with, not for me. Unless they come to me, then we can discuss it together. But, you know, while I'm out in the cold here, or while I feel like we don't have this level of connection I would like, there's nothing I can do, so I can't stress on their behalf. That's not serving anything or anyone. Um, if you're in the group of people who are ready to open up to a new person or to a new opportunity, it's like I'm not stressing about wanting commitment here anymore, I'm not stressing about this person needing to end any other commitments therein, romantic or otherwise, I'm just going to let this go, turn away from this and look for commitment from someone who is ready at this time to commit, not someone who's showing potential, someone who's ready now. Um, but either way, this is almost like I'm not going to stress about how this should go or how I feel like it should have been going all along or um, what's, you know, what, what commitments are in the way for this, this person because I can't deal with those. I can only deal with my situation and my commitments. It's not to say that it's like, oh, well, let's just, you know, let's not have commitment because I see the feeling as I want something stable, something that we're building upon, something that is committed. But... It's about, with the Eight of Swords, it's thinking and thinking and thinking and getting nowhere new. So it's almost like I'm not going to continue that same pattern of thinking or I'm not going to, sk to stay stuck in that same cycle regarding traditions, institutions, religions, cultures, age, um, commitment, whatever it is. It's, it's like, yes, I may still want commitment. Yes, we still have an age gap. Yes, we're still from different backgrounds or whatever might be the thing. But I'm not going to keep thinking about it in the same way or um you know i'm not going to keep trying to preempt what this person thinks and feels about these things so freeing yourself from some sort of mental loop that was just becoming stressful and pulling back before you get to that nine of swords which is really going to start impacting your health in different ways and maybe you've already been there and you're saying i'm not doing that again that's why i'm putting my foot down that's why i'm ready for some sort of a new cycle on the back ace of coins in reverse so feeling like you want the emotion and the commitment but you know as much as the emotion is there and you can see it you believe this person can see it um where is this commitment three of wands reversed underneath why is it taking so long to manifest and it's it's almost like if this is if you're in the group saying i want commitment with this same person i just want a new beginning here a fresh start it's like the longer this goes on the more your defense goes up and it feels just like such a shame so that might be how you're feeling like it didn't have to be this way i was so open i was so trusting almost like saying well when when this finally happens how much will i have left to give how open can i even be to you then will things be damaged beyond repair so that could be how some of you are feeling so let's keep going so how else is my viewer really actually truly feeling about this situation about their person about the connection Just looking, three of coins, um, Hierophant, for some of you there could be a work connection and that's um, a factor that you're thinking about as well, like it's interfering or um, perhaps that's the only time you see each other or speak and one of you might be leaving or thinking of leaving. Your commitment is being tested and we have conclusions are within reach. You see this is it. I feel whether you're saying I want commitment with this person or I'm starting to think about commitment with someone who can show up right now, there, there are thoughts about commitment right now. I'm making some kind of a decision about this. Okay, and also feeling like, yes, I want this person to, to make a decision soon. It's been long enough already. Okay, how else is my viewer truly actually thinking and feeling, please, about this situation, about their person? I'm hearing the name Alice or Alison even could be a name that's coming through. Could be like Alice in Wonderland as well. Maybe you feel like you've been led on some kind of wild goose chase within this connection and things just keep getting stranger and stranger or, you know, your person isn't behaving in logical ways that you can understand. Um, we have weight. I'm really noticing how this sword is up in the air, almost like it's about to come down and slice someone's head off or something what else please 
we have big happy changes for some reason that looked like happy christmas <laughs> maybe because you know when i'm recording this it's going to be christmas soon some of you though could be hoping for communication um this christmas or during the holiday period but yeah it's almost like i don't want to wait because i'm looking at wait and this i'm looking at this sword it's like don't you dare tell me to wait anymore i want a change now and i want it to be a change that makes me happy because so many changes that have happened have had me putting my guard up you know bit by bit by bit okay um right one more oracle deck and then oh then i've got some message cards um and then we're going to move into what your person believes you currently feel and think about them and the situation because the reason i've got message cards is i think it will be interesting to see what you you would actually say to them right now and want them to say versus what they anticipate you would say if um there was this communication that you're looking for okay so let's see how is my viewer truly thinking and feeling <clears throat> about this connection this situation this person on their mind we have push through any insecurity yeah can we please get on with this can we please work through what we, what we need to work through and have these happy changes and also maybe feeling like any lack of action coming from this person is because they are insecure or fearful or coming from a lack mentality first quarter moon in cancer for the other cards we have first quarter moon and full moon eclipse okay so um let's do these message cards let's see what you would actually say to this person what you might want them to know <clears throat> I don't care what my family or any oh see look at this i don't care what my family or anyone else has to say i want you and nobody else and this is why it's so painful for you and has been painful because you have been ready to stand up and defend this connection and this person against anyone and everyone who has anything to say and your person has been coming from this place of fear so they've not been feeling strong enough to do the same and that may have felt like rejection Okay, and while, you know, while you understand where they're coming from and you have been patient and compassionate, I just think it's getting to a point where it's like, are you are you ever going to find the courage to make these changes, despite other people having something to say? Particularly if you're in the group who, um, you know, you might feel like there's something um, unexpected about your connection or it's not traditional or it looks different to the sort of connections that go on within your family or theirs or your community because whatever that is, it maybe it's something that cannot change, like um, age or um, sex, gender, background, ethnicity, you know, some, if it's not just something like, oh, I earn more than you, which could change, you know, it, it's either like we either accept this and move forward anyway or not. Okay, what else would my viewer actually want to say, please, to this person on their mind? hearing something about an elephant um someone maybe like someone hasn't forgotten the words that this person has said so could this person promise you something or say something and it could have been years ago and you haven't forgotten um the journey has been difficult but needed i am proud of who i have become okay nice so you would want this person to know that you have grown you have evolved you've been going through your own changes and you're proud of yourself that hasn't been easy that you've risen to the challenges um i pray for you all the time and do healing work on your behalf now i know for a fact that some of you actually do do this because we've spoken um you know when you've booked readings and you've told me about you know sending energy to this person keeping them in your prayers that sort of thing so yeah you would want this person to know that you haven't forgotten them that you care you're actually even if you can't be there physically to support them because there's a separation you send the energy that you can send you know you work with them in whichever way you're able to okay um i know i have narcissistic tendencies but i'm not one I develop these traits to protect myself so some of you might want this person to know that if especially with that message about having changed and grown and being proud of who you are not for all of you but for some of you you could be saying look in the past i behaved in ways that i wouldn't now i've done a lot of healing this connection has shown me a lot about myself but i want you to know um i am not 
those traits or those behaviors I expressed before and I want you to know where those came from that I realize now that I've healed those um, that I have made changes too and also to say look I know I wasn't perfect I've I have things I've had to work on as well okay let's get two more I feel two more for some reason here so we'll have this one I'm noticing we've got so far two blue cards, two red, and the intention with this deck was that the blue is the feminine energy and the red is the masculine. So we've got a nice balance here. So you might want your person, yeah, to know you're in a really good place, you're feeling balanced, you're not looking for anyone to rescue you or save you, or you're not looking for anyone to rescue or save yourself. You're balanced, you want, you know, a person who is balanced. Okay, what else? One more, let's see. Um, you make me so nervous. Sometimes it's hard to breathe. Um, don't let my arrogance fool you. I feel unworthy. Okay, so that could be linked to some things that have been healed or are in the process of being healed. With this arrogance, what I feel is not so much arrogance, but this, this guard, this defensiveness. I may act like I'm unaffected because I'm sick of being affected, to be honest. I'm sick of um, I'm sick of this cycle, so I've decided that I'm going to fake it till I make it or something like that, but really wanting them to know, look, I am still affected. I get very nervous when I think about you or when I see you, um, but I can't keep going around as this page of cups with everything on the surface for everyone to see because I just felt wounded that way. Okay, so I'm going to pause, clear all this up, and then we'll go in and we'll see um, your, from your person's perspective, what are their thoughts and, and beliefs about how you um, think and feel about them and this situation? Are they accurate or are they off in any sort of way? Okay, so during the process of clearing the cards away, I realised that this next bit could potentially be annoying or triggering, depending on what comes up, um, because... Although this isn't necessarily going to be the truth of how you're feeling, depending on what this person believes you're thinking and feeling, I don't know, that could be annoying, depending on what comes up. So just to say, um, but let's have a look and see. So I'm going to use exactly the same decks to make it fair. Okay, highest and best messages, please, spirit. So the person on my viewer's mind, what does this person believe that my viewer thinks and feels about them and about this situation at this time. Okay, let's see. Whoa, okay. I think this might be a messy spread. Let's see though. We've got Temperance, Knight of Wands reverse, Ten of Wands reverse, Sagittarius energy there. So this is someone who already is believing that you do want balance, you want peace, you want reciprocity, you want healing. Um, <clears throat> Knight of Wands reversed, Ten of Wands reversed. Interesting. Let's keep going. Because that could go several ways. Wow. Six of Wands reversed. This, the, word, the first thing I will say, with how this deck is shuffling and how the cards are coming out, your person, the person we're tapping into here, thinks a lot about how you perceive them, what you're thinking of them, how you feel about them. So this is something they're consciously, actively wondering and thinking about at this time. So we've got the Knight of Cups reversed. Lots of reversals. The first thing to say is they believe that from your opinion, you feel like there's a block here. You've been disappointed. Um, you haven't had the outcome you wanted to see. <clears throat> okay, strength. Yeah, Leo energy there. So the Empress, Taurus, Libra, King of Cups reversed. We've got the King of Wands on the back. Yeah, this person, I was wondering which way this message in the middle would go. For many of you, this person thinks that you feel like their heart space is shut down or dead. I just heard the word dead. So they're, they're quite dramatic in their thinking right now. Um, but what you think is very much alive in them is passion and you're sick of it because all you've had is this these fleeting passionate moments or this fleeting passionate interest. This is their opinion, that they've not shown any level of stability or commitment or um, I'm hearing the word routine so maybe you wanted it to be a thing where like you spoke every Tuesday at 5 p.m because that's when you both had that availability or you know you just wanted to make it regular in some way and they were not up for that they didn't express that kind of um, commitment here um, 
We've got the King of um, Cups reversed with the Six of Wands reversed. <laughs> if I can speak, reversed. So they think that your opinion is that <clears throat> they didn't, they showed you passion, they didn't show you commitment, they didn't show you their emotions. They didn't show you that they actually care very deeply or actually even love you. And they acted from a place of ego and from distorted ego. Do you know what this feels like? It feels like this person is realizing some things about how they showed up and they're assuming because this is their opinion of themselves and their behavior now, it's yours. So you know how we kind of all naturally project outwards and then we have to take a minute to say, hold on, just because I see something this way, maybe someone else doesn't because they've got a different perspective, experiences, all of that. This person is saying, oh, maybe I did act from ego. Maybe I didn't let you know that I actually care. Whereas I thought I was, but maybe it looked like I was just being passionate or I was just attracted to you. They're now thinking you are thinking this about them. And to an extent, they're right. You you know, you do feel that um, there, there wasn't enough commitment. There still isn't, that they weren't particularly reliable, that they weren't really open to discuss how they were feeling. Um, <clears throat> but there's a huge, huge focus here on desire. Um, that it's almost like they're saying they believe you think that they didn't control their desire enough. They were reckless, they were immature. So even if you do think and feel this, I don't think at this time there's as much of a focus on this as your person believes. Um, they feel like if they're to come back towards you or you're to come towards them, that they need to get a better grip on this desire they have for you because you may have felt cheapened in some way by how they approached you, that you don't feel that they recognised you as this empress here. Okay. For some of you, if your person is in another commitment, someone possibly they are married to even or have children with, they know that you're, that this is a problem for you specifically because your opinion of this is that it's, they don't want to be there. It's a burden. Ten of Wands is reversed. So it's this burden that just continues on and on and on. So you might in some way be waiting for them to make a decision about this. It's not like you know they're married, for example, and they're perfectly happy, in which case you might be like, okay, fine, whatever. But there's a feeling that they're unhappily with someone or in a situation or married. It could even be, um, let's say, a mother or a strong feminine energy who's very controlling of them in their life. And you're saying, well, when are you going to make this change? Because... I know you will at some point because you're so miserable and that will free up room for us. Maybe this is someone who even said something with that message coming through earlier about remembering something they said. So maybe they know they told you they would make a change and you're waiting for this. Um, I'm thinking about those message cards that we got as well um, about, you know, you saying I'm ready to stand up and defend this connection. I don't care who's got a problem with it. And, you know, their opinion is that, that you feel like they're not ready to do that. So I think they're reading a lot correctly here about how you truly think and feel about this situation and about um, them, their behaviour. Um, but yeah, there's a huge, huge emphasis I'm seeing here on the past, how they showed up in the past, that it was very driven by sacral energy, I'll just say. Um, the passion, the desire, but like instant. Oh, I feel this, let's act on it. I feel this, let's act on it. It wasn't... It wasn't even like, oh, I'm very attracted to you. Okay, let's plan this date. And, you know, I'm hoping it will go this way, but I'll put in this degree of effort. It wasn't even like that. It was like, oh, I'm thinking about you. Let me message you. You know, it, it just, it, it feels like they're saying, I don't think I showed you enough respect. I don't think I showed you that you were more important to me than just, I'm feeling passion at the moment. I'll talk to you. Okay, I'm done. Bye. You know, um, so they're, they're thinking a lot about that. Also saying that you maybe feel they're manipulative with emotions, a bit stubborn. Um, <laughs> this person could also feel that you find them to be attractive. So their opinion is that you find them physically attractive. Um, maybe that's true, maybe that's not, but that's their opinion. Um, we've got the tower underneath reverse, so Scorpio energy there. But yeah, they feel something's happened here and one more wrong move and the ta it's done. The tower's upright, it's over. So they think that you are unhappy with, with maybe the last interaction you had. Um, in the last interaction you had, you could have expressed to them some disappointment or some anger. Um,
there's a feeling here of them saying, look, I know what you didn't like about me and how I behaved and what happened before, but the only thing I'm seeing, and this is going off slightly off topic, but it's here, so I think it's relevant. The only thing I'm seeing in terms of them making a change or understanding how to show up differently is the strength card. It's like, right, I came on too strong. I don't think you like that for various reasons. So I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I still have all this passion and desire for you, but I will just control it more. But then we have this King of Cups reverse needing to be more grounded in their emotions, potentially less volatile or unpredict unpredictable, less, um, I feel like if this person's ego even senses a threat, they act up. And when I say act up, I do, I mean like a child having a tantrum, like they do something that's very immature. Um, but I'm, it, and they know this, but I'm not, I'm not feeling or seeing that they're understanding, right, I'll do this instead. So I, I feel this might be someone who's still got a bit of work to do on themselves, or they've got to learn new coping mechanisms or something like that. Um, so one thing I will say, again, slightly different topic, but if there is a reconnection with this person at this time, um, you may notice that they're trying to be more respectful of your boundaries. They might seem a bit more reserved. They might try to make the conversation with you very clearly friendly and not sexual or anything because they don't want to make you uncomfortable again or to feel annoyed with them again or disrespected. But um, <clears throat> yeah, if something happens that they don't like or they feel like it's an affront to them in some way, whatever they used to do, it could be silent treatment, it could be sulking, it could be um, it, it could be both of those, plus I'm going to try and make you jealous, you know, all of that really unattractive stuff. Um, they could still do some of those things. Okay, um, let, I just want to get a bit more here, let me see. So Knight of Cups reverse with Temperance. Page of Cups. Mm. So yes, they feel that you want a new beginning. You would like them to make the first move. That's what they think and feel. Um, and to be honest, I, I feel like they understand why that is. Um, and you would like to, to see this more open, genuine energy from them. So it's not even that you're looking for big grand gestures. You just want whatever they're saying to you or whatever moves they're making to actually be authentic and for them to not have a guard up. I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles, so consistent effort and time making this um, connection, this situation, a priority. Let me have a look at this Six of Wands, the King of Cups reverse, because this is this is just slightly concerning to me because this person recognizes this behavior in themselves. And I don't know if it's that it's so ingrained or it's a process for them to, you know, start showing up differently or reacting to things differently. But I feel this is very much an ongoing thing. Queen of Cups reversed. Yes, and it causes massive rifts between you so that, you know, it could be something happens, it affects their ego and they ghost and you don't speak for ages. And it's a really overly dramatic response to the situation and the length of time that you don't speak is completely out of proportion to what's happened or something like that. Um, it could be also that, remember we had that card about some narcissistic traits before, if you resonate with anything like that, it could be that this person, you know, they've got these um, <clears throat> ways of reacting and that triggers things in you and then it's sort of like, because we have the King and Queen of Cups, so we have this matching pair, both with these feelings for each other, this love for each other, but they're reversed. Um, <clears throat> so they could be, a, you know, you, you might... Um, really trigger things in each other's shadow so it comes up to the surface for healing and we saw that you're saying you have you've done some healing around this maybe lots of good healing and you're feeling proud because of it you know if you're resonating with this message but i'm not sure this person has done as much healing around these this sort of thing um or this particular topic as you have the emperor Aries here. So we've got Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. This is the thing. This person's a little bit less grounded than you are. They, they're they saying, look, I see you, and I know, off topic again, but they're saying, I see you as the one for me. Empress, Emperor. But what gets in the way of this is this, this way of reacting that they have. 
And yeah, sure, it's probably coming from like wounding, fear, maybe something in childhood, feeling like, oh, my ego's threatened, my ego keeps me safe, I need to pull back or whatever it is. But the fact is it's counterproductive to this actually working. Um, so this is just a heads up really, if you're moving forward with this person at this time, just know as much as we have the Emperor and the Empress, and that's a recipe clearly for success, I think they still have some of these same reactions that are pretty annoying to say the least and pretty damaging to this connection at worst in that it slows things down, it causes fractures that go on for longer than, than they need to be there, you know, that sort of thing. And possibly in the past it was very triggering to you, even though I think you've done a lot of healing now, so you wouldn't be as triggered. Um, okay, but this person, you know, they believe that your thoughts and feelings about them are that they weren't consistent enough, they made you feel a bit used, um, they didn't really open up about their feelings and perhaps even manipulated your feelings and tried to control theirs too much. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me that you would like a new start, that they kind of need to initiate it really, and you want them to come from a more gentle, authentic place. And we are seeing some of their intention here as well, which is that I will be more controlled. Yes, you know, just so you know, I have incredible amounts of desire for you still, but I will control it more. And that's, that's their main focus at this time. They seem to think that's really where a lot of this went wrong. Um, <clears throat> or where, you know, what kind of really annoyed you the most or upset you the most. So let's get into some oracle cards here and see. This could be somebody who has a tendency to focus in on something and almost obsess about that one thing. So right now the focus is on I'm, I'm, I need to control my passion. That's what, you know, that's what got us to where we are. That's what caused that tower moment. Even though they also have this feeling of I've got healing to do, it's like, it's very, I don't know how to explain it. It's very like one track mind. It's not, okay, right, you know, I won't go in as hard next time with all the passion, okay right, I've addressed that issue, I know what to do there, let me now think about these knee-jerk reactions I have. It, it's very much like, I will, you know, I need to hold back, I'm going to hold back, that's my focus. Um, I don't know, I don't know, let me know in the comments if, if you kind of get what that means in relation um, to your person. Um, very, very, like, almost like an obsessive quality, but just like one thing at a time. So maybe this is someone who doesn't like to multitask in any kind of a way. It's just, I'm doing this thing, I'm going to see it through to completion, even if it doesn't make sense that I focus on this till it's done. You know, it makes sense, I kind of divide my time up. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm doing this one thing. Okay, so let's see. How does this person believe that my viewer thinks and feels about them? And my throat is feeling a lot more scratchy in this section of the reading, so they could assume that you don't think they're a great communicator either, or that there are things they want to say to you, but they kind of choke and they've never said these things to you. I do have a feeling as well that they know that you know how important you are to them. You know that, that they see you as their empress, but you're, you also believe they've not actually made that clear, they've not treated you in that way, they've not told you this. We have not the right time. Okay, what's what's not the right time? Communicate clearly. So that's very interesting because this person is saying that they believe that you think it's not the right time for them to reach out. Um, don't stop on the back. Let's get one more. I wonder if, you know, you're seeming happy or busy and, and they're, from that they're reading that you don't want them to bother you right now. Look for a sign. Yeah, this, so this person may have the opinion that you think and feel it's not a good time for them to reach out, that you don't want to hear from them. So they are constantly looking and waiting and hoping for a sign to let them know that it is the right time to reach out. Um, now, that's probably not the truth at all. Um, in fact, I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, this, this is their opinion. So they're, obviously they're seeing something about you and potentially misinterpreting it. So like I said, if it seems like you're doing fine, you're happy, um, remember that card that said about, don't let my arrogance fool you, I'm affected, blah, blah, blah. 
um, they might genuinely be reading that as, oh, you're not interested in hearing from me. Again, that message is coming through. In some ways, I feel for some of you, this is a person who doesn't do well with like, as I said, multitasking or reading between the lines um, or putting themselves in somebody else's shoes and saying, okay, well, if I were you, even though I seemed happy and, and doing like I was doing all these things, I probably still want to hear from you. It's like the, their focus is very singular. Um, like if, if they see a video of you and you're talking to people and laughing, then that's it. You're, you're socialising with people and you're happy. There are no thoughts of like, oh, I wonder if when you got home you were still that happy or if you were just happy for that moment or if you're happy but you also miss me sometimes. It's like, I, I see you're happy, you're laughing. Okay, so you're happy. I accept that. That's it. That's not going to be for all of you, but for some of you, yeah, this is someone who doesn't do well with... Um, the subtleties of situations and reading between the lines and understanding that people can be can have several emotions at once or be feeling terrible but still be showing up to work do you know, you know what i mean like maybe because that's how they live their life you know obviously they're assuming that it's the same for you and you're you seem good so it's not a good time to reach out okay let's see what else Balance spirituality and practicality and we have emotions are running high. So what they believe you're thinking and feeling about them. Yeah, that you're in a place of balance and you don't want them coming in with their drama. So they believe you see them as drama. So you, do you see what I mean? This person knows they have this way of having these um, pretty immature, low vibrational knee jerk reactions that you know it, they, that you don't like it. I think even they don't like it, but they're not dealing with it because it's like, first I need to deal with this issue of passion. So when we reconnect, I'm going to show you that I can be, um, I know I, I know how to read a situation and I can hold my passion back. Then the next time we talk, if anything triggers me, I'll deal with this issue over here of um, not reacting the way I normally do. It's very much one thing at a time. The thing is, I don't know that they can read a situation as well as they think they can. Or maybe they can, but they really have a hard hard time trusting their intuition, you know, and it's their ego they're listening to, which is telling them, oh, if they said get lost, they want me to get lost forever. Not that you meant it just in the moment or something like that. Or, oh, yeah, you're laughing, but you might still want to hear from me as well. Doesn't mean you're completely fulfilled in every way. OK, let's see. So what do they believe you're thinking and feeling about them? Trust all will be well, that you've handed this over to the divine, you're not pushing forward anymore, you're not trying to make anything happen, that yes, you'd like a new beginning, we've got new moon in Virgo, and you would like this new beginning to be, to have a plan, to be um, thought out, you know, for both people to be diligent and showing up and consistent, but you're sitting back more now, you're more in um, receiving mode, you're not trying to force anything to happen, you're not actively even giving to this person or this situation at this time, potentially. <clears throat> Okay, so let's get into the messages then. What do they believe that you would say to them at this time? So we know, you know, what came out in the section for what you would actually say. So please show us spirit, this person. What do they believe that my viewer would say? <laughs> what does this person believe that my viewer would say? Um, <clears throat> I'm hearing, I can't make out the words, like, it, I don't know how to even explain this. It's not words I'm hearing, but the, the gist I'm getting is of someone kind of being like, saying to someone else, like, you're joking, right? And kind of laughing at them because they, they're kind of so shocked, like, I can't believe. There's a feeling of, they, this person's opinion is that if they try and talk to you right now, and maybe it's not the right time, that you might turn around and say, you, you're actually reaching out to me, you're actually trying to get my attention right now. That's hilarious. But not like, oh, it's actually funny, like, you must be joking, you're crazy, sort of thing. So I think they really have maybe the wrong opinion about communication here. 
So they think you would say to them, I can't handle you not being in my life forever, for now, but not forever. So yeah, again, they know you want a new beginning in their opinion. Um, but right now you're not trying to push anything. You might be just allowing, accepting the flow of things. But ultimately you would like a new start here. Um, why do you stay when they treat you so badly? So that's that Ten of Wands reversed with the Empress card. If there is a third party personal situation, yeah, this person knows you would say to them, what are you doing? What, you know, which decision are you making? Why do you stay? I realized that you did not make me feel bad about myself. I did that. So they could um, see, sense or feel that you have had some realizations, you have done some healing, some inner work. Um, and maybe even they believe that your opinion now and what you would say to them is that you gave them too much power in the past. Um, and every time they had these, you know, knee jerk reactions that weren't the highest vibrational, it really affected you, but you're not in that place anymore now. You're more guarded, which is a bittersweet sort of a thing. Okay, we have, um, I'm having a hard time believing that you really love me, yeah, because of how they've treated you. So this is the thing, they're saying I need to hold back some of this desire and this passion so that you can see the other sides of how I feel and my personality. Um, okay, so I think we did two more for the other section, so let's just even it out and get two more here. I'm seeing the infinity symbol, so, um, oh, okay, we have three, wow. So this person believes uh, that you're thinking and feeling that this is a very special divine connection, and no matter how this goes, the feelings will continue, um, and, you know, between you. You are not the only one that's scared, the connection scares me too, okay. I don't feel threatened by the karmic anymore, they are just playing their role. And that's underneath, why do you stay when they treat you so badly? So this person believes um, that you would tell them, look, I'm not threatened or anything like that. I'm just fed up of not knowing where I stand. Um, and this person's also seeing you being confident enough at this time that <laughs> you're like, you know what, you just do what you're doing. Do I think it's a good idea for you? No. Um, do I think you've got the best situation going with this karmic? Probably not. Would I prefer that you just dealt with that and then we could deal with us? Yes, but whatever. Hands off. I'm trusting divine timing and I'm, I'm, make, I'm just doing me. I'm making sure I'm good at this time. Um, I have a hard time focusing on you when I'm trying to build an empire. You see? So this is someone who, I think this person's watching you. For many of you, this person's watching you and they're seeing that you are building an empire in one way or another, whatever area of your life we're talking about here and because of this they're assuming some things correctly which is you know you're standing in your power you're moving forward you're not feeling threatened or anything like that by other people but they're misinterpreting how you feel about them in terms of them reaching out they're like oh you're so busy you've got so many things going on and so much going for you you don't want to hear from me i don't think that's true um, they keep saying you're coming back, but you're not here yet. Are you coming back? Yeah. What is going on? I appreciate your closing out your own cycles, doing your own thing, growing, healing, learning lessons, whatever. But like, what's the future here? Are you planning to come back? So they know you, that you want some kind of a sense of what's going on here. And maybe they even believe that you're feeling that there's been a lack of closure. Um, you don't know where you stand has the cycle closed out is a new one beginning or not um that you don't even know what their thoughts and feelings are at this time so that's that's what they're believing so um okay i think i'm just going to leave this here because we can see how you know if you resonated with the first section of this reading they are picking up on some things correctly making some correct assumptions but i just think there's a there's a big feeling of confusion here about how to act, what to do next. Um, and I think it's because this person is maybe not trusting their intuition. Um, because look, look for a sign. I do think they could be getting very obvious signs. Look at this lightning bolt. And yet, you know, and they're looking for these signs and they get them, but then they don't act on them. They don't trust them because they feel like it's not the right time because you're building an empire. Doing one thing does not mean you can't do the other. Building this empire does not mean you can't speak to them or people, you know? Um, but again, it's this one track 
sort of mindedness and focus and they're saying right well you're doing this so you can't do that maybe that's how they are you know um okay so i would you know i would say maybe give them a sign but i honestly think they would need like the biggest sign for example let's say they're stalking you on social media and their name's kevin you know you'd have to be like Kevin, it's safe to approach, which, which isn't a sign. You know, you might as well just write to them and say that. But yeah, anyway. Okay, so I hope this resonated. I hope it helped. Um, thank you for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.